Welcome to Miss Jessica's first Scratch 2.0 lesson one. Today we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to use the Scratch editor to create really cool costumes. Let's start. Go to uh, scratch.mit.edu and click on create. Then we you will already see this uh, the cat sprite on the stage. Let's remove these costumes. And you can leave them there, but I prefer to remove them if I already not use them. So let's remove all the cat costumes. And so here, over here on your right hand side is the costume editor. And then you want to give yourself some more space so you can click on this triangle to expand the, your work area. So what you're looking at now is the the bitmap a bitmap mode and bitmap mode in in the in the new scratch editor there are two modes bitmap bitmap and the vector mode. So I would recommend as using the vector mode for if you want smoother uh, image and and it's it's pretty easy to use. Now bitmap mode what you could do is it you can you can use the pencil but you can see that the, the edges is a little rough. But if you switch to bit the, the vector mode, click on vector mode to, to switch over and use the pencil and just draw a circle. Just the same as what you just did in when you were in the bitmap mode. You see how this circle that's drawn using in the vector mode is so much smoother than the one that's drawn in the bitmap mode. So that's Stick to the, the vector mode. Let's clear this and notice that it, right here it says vector mode. So this this line tells you which mode you are in. You are currently in vector mode. And, um, and here, let's take a look, quick look at the tool sets you have. Here we have a select. This arrow is a select to select an object. And then this is reshape. It's pretty cool. And you can use this tool to change the shape of your your of your um, to, to change the shape basically and then you have a pencil you can draw and you have the line you can draw a straight line and then you have the rectangle you can also use this to create square if you press down on the shift key here's your ellipse and you can use this to create circle if you press down on the shift key this is your text you can create, use this to create labels add labels um, add text to your to your uh, sprite and this is the uh, the this paint bucket is you, you can feel the color and in e either in solid mode or in uh, the gradients. This is duplicate. You can make copy of your shape. Okay, let's start by creating a simple, um, a simple, I would say, say a robot. So you click on the rectangle and then you can drag to create a rectangle. I'm going to drag a, a small one, a medium one to be the head and then click again to to create the body and then create one for the arms you can also copy this guy by having when this is selected just click on the duplicate and click on it now you have a duplicate so move over here you have a an arm and you can also control C to copy and control V to paste so control C and then control V that's it that this is just another way to copy. So again, control C and control V. And then you, you see that when the object or shape is selected, there's a little handlebar you can use to rotate. So let's rotate this guy, flip it, flip the leg over so it's standing up, flip do the same thing with this guy, move it over. And this guy you can just select it and move it over. Also, if you want to select something but you're in a different mode, just make sure that you click the select button. Let's move this head down. There you go, that's your robot and we'll create circle for the eyes. And copy and paste. And then you can make the copy, but make it smaller by using, by dragging it in. You do that and copy and paste. And then finally you have your mouth. There you go. And then if you wanted to add a little bit of color to it, just click 
the color, the, the color, the paint bucket, and then pick a color. Say I want it to be um, a blue. And I want the body, say, to be um, red. There you go. You want the eyes, say, to be red as well. There you go. That's a really simple um, robot that shows you what you can do with uh, rectangles and circles. And next, let's use the reshape tool. We haven't used this reshape tool yet. So go ahead and create a circle. We're going to create a face. Oh, now that it's red and we, we actually want it black. So go ahead and hit your delete key to, to remove this guy. Hit delete key. You should find delete key on your keyboard. And after that, click on this guy. When you click on this, the color is selected. The black is selected to be the primary color. Go ahead and click on the circle. And now that's your circle. And we are going to create a body. I'm going to use all circle or ellipse tools in this in in the this body because it's if you create the shape using the rectangle, all the lines is going to be straight. But if you create a shape, if, if you create a shape using um, the ellipse tool, then you can the line will be curved. You can have curved line. Here next, we're going to create ear, and let let me, let me show you when you click on this and you click on the reshape tool and click on the shape again. You can see. You should be see little shallow little light circles around the shapes. That's your vertices. So you want to tell when also if there's no vertices to add one, you just click on it. See, you're adding one. And to add an ear, you want to add two more, at least two more vertices. There you go. So I'm gonna click click here to add a vertices, click here to add a vertices. And click here to add another vertice so I can adjust and you can adjust it don't add too many if you don't need that many because then you'll be kind of hard to see but you should just take just try it out and see what makes sense see here and then say I wanted to have um, an arm so you click on this shapes and here I wanted to add a dot here I another dot so that's my arms and I'm going to have the arms grow out of this body same here, I want to add two dots, have it grow out. So you imagine you're um, making a sculpture, right? You're or playing with uh, Play-Doh. It's almost like that. You're adding dots and drag it out. Adding dots and drag out the legs. Okay, you can always add more dots. And also, by the way, you can remove dots. For example, say I wanted to add one dot here, but then I realized I don't really need it. I can double click it to remove it. See, there's no more dots. And with each dot, you can adjust it to, to get, so you can get the best shapes you want. And there you go. I think that's good enough. Okay. And then of course the eyes you can you can also do circle and the tricky the trick here if you wanted to create eye that's realistic, you can delete some vertices to make the eye looks almond. There you go, and then you adjust it so it looks more like a regular eyes. And then you add a little circle to be the pupil. And then you color the pupil. I'm going to make it brown. There you go. So to select both eyes, so you can duplicate, just click on the select key and select this whole eye, including the eye socket and an eyeball, and click on duplicate. Select it. I took that back. It's easier to use the control shift. So select it again. Hit control C and control V. This is much easier. Control C and control V is much easier to use because then when you 
That way you can select multiple items and copy and paste it. Okay, so multiple item you mean the eye, so the eyes and the eyeballs are separate, two separate items. There you go, and then you can draw a nose, obviously. You can use the pencil to draw a nose. Oh, I, I want it to be black, so I want it to color it black. Just correct it. All right, and then you can add mouth. With the mouth, there's, there you go. And this is a little too big, so I'm going to make it smaller. Okay, here's your nice smile. And then you can take your time to adjust it so it looks like this guy has neck. And feel free to let your creativity uh, shine through. I'm going to give this guy a blue suit and a nice face and eye whites. There. That concludes our lesson today. I hope you enjoy it and practice a lot. Practice makes perfect. See you next time.